We've got a lot of tubers. This is a bit of an example of a system we got going on at Dad's place. We had this huge pack of flooded lead acids. And uh, we bought this MPPT off uh, eBay. I'll link to these in the video description. I think this is a 60 amp one. Quite good. I had these couple of APC 3000. VA inverters, which is about 2700 watts total, and uh, these beasts have just got power points out of them, and they are awesome for running stuff. Up on the roof, we've got nine 250 watt panels. Ah, it's really overcast at the moment, it's been going between 400 watts and 1.5. That's pretty happy at about 1100 there. So, this little system so far. Has already produced, so there's the PV voltage at the moment, it's 90, 90 volts, 30 amps at PV, 496.7 kilowatt hours already. This little beast got a little fan in the top, and it really kicks in when it gets up towards the 2000 watt mark. So, battery packs at 52 volts, but battery packs quite weak. Um, so it's 20 amps going in there at 48 volts. Oh yeah, it's a 48 volt system too. And 20 amps at 48 volts at the moment. Um, there's the fan. As you see, temperature controlled. Quite a powerful little fan. It sucks through the bottom there. Nice big terminal block in there, as you can see. Yeah, the fan will come on for a little bit, and then it'll go away again. Yeah, pushing towards the 500 kilowatt hours already. Now, obviously, the um, round trip efficiency of batteries like these is pretty low. Also, UPSs is pretty low. With that being said, the 6000 VA of UPS um, for a couple hundred bucks. So you're not going to get a 48 volt inverter that puts out good power, like well, safe power, um, for anything less, and the ability to turn the mains on, which is an automatic transfer switch. So you'd need like a Victron Multi Plus or something like that to compete with something like this. But to be constantly getting a thousand watts of Power, it's like overcast day today, it's not real good. Oh, there we go, she's dropping now. Now, as soon as I said constant. Yeah, this is just a good system at the moment for uh, Dad to play around with. It's a bit of um, a bit of free solar power, essentially. It's amazing how much the wattage jumps around because it's um, MPPT, so really cool. But uh, the batteries are pretty sad, they will end up getting scrapped. They're 2 volt, 240 amp hours there. Excess, Sentry, or Yasua. These are quite old now. As you can see they've all got temperature gauges and specific gravity gauges in them, which are all a bit on the low side. But yeah, they've got a bit of build up in the base of them. Like I said, we got these essentially for less than scrap value. Well, much less than scrap value. So when we go to get rid of them, we'll actually make money. I think this was three or four hundred dollars. I'll find a link for that and uh, drop that in the top of the video description because yeah, Dad's had a good run with this. And it's got a monitoring port. I believe you can plug it in your computer. Iron temperature sensor. So just put it over here, just next to the batteries. I think that was actually in there. needs to be stuffed in there somewhere yeah good little setup make a bit of power out of the Sun for free nothing wrong with 500 kilowatts coming in for free and uh, like you can run things like the kettle and stuff like that off an inverter this big and that one's off at the moment but I believe he's run the clothes dryer off that one before um, yeah, these are got two huge transformers in them. There's like one there and one there next to each other. And uh, they've got no batteries actually in them. You've just used the slots at the front there. And these ones 
these ones are the baby version of the ones that I've got up on the mezzanine up in the workshop so yeah be fun to start playing with those yeah it's all in a little self-contained shed so it's all by itself just put a concrete slab underneath it and he's put it against a concrete wall um, and the shed in front of it cement sheet so nothing can catch fire or anything or if it catches fire nothing else will catch fire we'll just sit here and burn and uh, yeah all pretty safe the breakers on the output with um, RCDs yeah about as safe as you can be off grid and um, I know these aren't efficient one day we'll actually sit down and make some videos working out the efficiency of these UPS modules and uh, we'll go from there anyhow thanks for watching I just thought I'd show you this while I was over at dad's and uh, yeah what voltage is in the pack oh PV64 you see how much that drops off when the sun changes 50 volts in the battery so yeah thanks for watching guys next video i'll catch you there cheers